Alice, and I'm here at the International Culinary Center. Rice pilaf is so good. I love buying the box stuff, but we learned how to make it in class, so I think I'm going to try to stick to homemade. So let me show you how it's done. I already have some onions right here. They're sautéing in butter. Use a wooden spoon and just mix them around and let them go until they're translucent. I don't really like onions that much, and these are so cooked down that the rice pilaf is so delicious. Even if you don't like onions, you'll really like this recipe. So now I'm going to add the rice. Just let the rice and the onions cook together a little bit. Add your herbs, some thyme, and a bay leaf. And now you're just going to add your water. You can also use chicken stock for this. Just adds a little bit of a boost of flavor. You're going to turn your flame up high and you're going to bring it to a boil and reduce it to a simmer. Once it's simmering, you're going to go ahead and cover it and leave it for about 15, 20 minutes. We have one here. This one was cooking for about 17 minutes. And you want your rice to be a little bit underdone. Not crunchy, but you want it to have a little bit of a bite to it. So just taste it. That's good. So put a little bit of butter on top of it to let it melt. And then you're going to fluff it. Use a fork to fluff your rice just to separate all of the grains. Once it's nicely fluffed up, you're going to season it. Put some pepper, some salt, and for a splash of color, some parsley. And now you're done. Look how good it looks. It looks delicious. I almost want to eat it out of the pot. For this recipe and to continue following me through culinary school, stay with us at What's Cooking on CBSNews.com.